Hey everybody and welcome back to our channel, your go-to place for smart, simple, and step-by-step -step tech tutorials. In today's video, we are diving into Plan Day, a powerful, all-in-one platform for managing HR tasks, running payroll, and scheduling staff with ease. Whether you're a small business owner, a team manager, or just curious about software, this video will walk you through everything you need to know from setting up shifts to approving timesheets and even syncing payroll. So let's begin. Now, the first thing that you need to do, visit the official website of a plan day. On the top corner, you have an option to log in using your credentials, but the better option is to click the free trial. Now, you will notice that you will be forwarded to a new page. Creating an account here in Plan Day is very easy. All you have to do is provide all the information needed and click the Agree and Continue blue button at the bottom. Next is you will be forwarded here. You can be honest and provide the information that Plan Day is asking you so that they can offer the algorithm the best dashboard for you. Okay, but if you want, you can skip the setup and at this point you will be forwarded to the main dashboard of plan day now again on the top corner we have a notification that we have 30 days to try the platform absolutely free at no cost now now the main home page is going to be your dashboard okay it's a quick overview of essential information such as your schedule so there's a lot of uh, things like that you can explore on the main homepage, all right? From the your schedule, your availability, your absence, payslips, news, and events, okay? For example, if you go to the schedule, this is going to be the uh, same way calendar that you can tweak. You can show the date range right here. It'll take some time to load. So you can have your shifts here, okay? So... You can also have, say, for example, swaps, leaves, and quick links to common tasks. You can click on the show if you have some shift around here. But if you don't, you can simply go to the uh, schedule section, which is going to be where all shift planning and management happens. Okay, so you can view and manage the shift schedules by day, by week, or month if you click the drop-down menu here. You can assign shifts to employees if you have that because employees can see their shifts and request changes. You see, there are a template option on the top right corner. If you don't have any template yet, this is going to be the perfect opportunity for you to create. How? All you're going to do is click this small button. I want you to type in, for example, how to use plan day. So we have that covered here. I want you to click on it. And then what will happen is you would be forwarded here. Now, you can create week one or add week if you wanted. In this section, employees can see their shifts and request changes from here, groups and positions. Okay? If you want to full screen, do that. If not, click on close. So we have now covered a specific template in our schedule. Of course, these have the uh, pending request punch clock, availability, absence requests, contracted hours, and absence accounts. If you click the contracted hours, this is really great for ensuring full shift coverage and minimizing scheduling conflicts because you have the section right here. You can set up contract rules if you want, but it will forward you here. It's up to you how to set it up. Now, loading times may vary, so I highly suggest you are not using a VPN or maybe an antivirus because, because that could interfere with the uh, loading times. If you want to create a contract rule, you can do that. For example, let's say, let's say in this instance. Okay, so let's do that. I'm going to click the description and this is going to be our contract rule. Okay, so completed. Now, after the schedule, we have the people. Now, the people is where you focus on the staff management, okay? So, you can view employee profiles and contact info if you have that. If you don't have any, I'm going to create one employee so we can track the availability, skills, roles, and contact info. 
Now, here, after providing all the information needed, I want you to click the save button so you can send images right here. Enable the username. Now, you can add or deactivate employees because these section the employee acts as your employee directory and hr kind of tool you have employee groups departments contracts and documents now obviously the report section is where you can get analytics and data insights right so you have like labor costs work hours absent summaries like forecast versus actual hours which is helpful for performance tracking budgeting and decision making all right so you have the hours per employee shifts for per employee and of course you have the ability right here to generate report you can select the employees right here for example all employees employee groups or departments select the date range you can tweak all the settings d depending on your preferences and you can have that and click the download report all right so we're going to leave the report section because it's kind of like um, it, it needs a deeper dive into a separate video. But what I'm going to do is go to the payroll because it's essentially one of the most important part of a planned day. The payroll supports all payroll processing as you can see it from here. All right. You have the payroll export, lock date range for payroll, import payslips, and of course the payslips. Because you can export work hours for payroll systems. You can track wage costs and pay rates ensuring employees are paid accurately and on time integrating with the systems if you have like quickbooks adp or others this is going to be a, a breeze really it's really easy to uh, integrate now the settings is basically the control center for your configuring plan day so you can set up locations departments or roles you can even manage user permissions okay or connect integrations it's like your admin dashboard you can customize this according to your business needs now if you feel that plan day is going to be the uh, platform for your business needs you see the uh, top right corner there's going to be an option to buy now since we are using the 30 days free trial i highly suggest you click this because this will give you all the plans that you can choose from you can go for the starter Starting at this price, minimum five users, no subscription fee, but you get all these. The plus plan, which is going to be our trial, all right? So we have this build increments of five users, and the pro requires a custom pricing. You need to talk to one of the uh, sales experts so that they can offer a tailored fit solutions to your business needs, all right? Now, with that being said, and that's it. For today's video on how to use plan day for your hr payroll and staff scheduling needs now if you're managing it a team whether it's in retail hospitality healthcare or any chef based environment plan day really helps simplify your day-to-day -day operations it's a powerful tool for business of all sizes to streamline workforce management so if you're ready to reduce admin time and boost team productivity this might be the platform for you Again, if you found this video helpful, do not forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell so you don't miss on any of our upcoming tech tutorials. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you again in the next video.